So for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be working outside of my house and I can't babysit that test rig that's in the garage. And I still want to keep mining, but I have a feeling if I'm gone for eight hours, it's going to hang. And so I was looking up these different scripts that people are making for nice hash. And I don't know what the hell any of that is. Um, so there is a way to make sure that your computer when it starts up, that nice hash just goes right into mining. That's super simple to do. And then under your task, was it um, task scheduler, you can have your computer just reboot every hour or so. And I've set mine to reboot every two hours outside. And I'll show you how I did that real quick. All right, so my nice hash miner's still hanging and it's doing it mostly when I'm sleeping. And so I was looking for a way to get it to automatically run on Windows Startup. And nice hash has its own video here, but this first response right here, this is a real simple way to do it. And so if you just go to your command line and you type in shell colon startup, a shortcut for your nice hash miner just drop it in there and now when windows boots up nice hash miner will also boot up it's real simple now you just have to make sure that in your miner you have it set to start mining when it boots up so that's another real simple thing to do I'm just got to let this thing start up and then you go to configure go to mining and then just click auto start mining. And now when the computer reboots, the, the miner will go ahead and start mining right off the bat. And so a lot of people were saying, well, how do I get my computer to reboot? And there's a way to do it that the computer will um, reboot if the application hangs up, but that's too complex for me right now. And so I just went to task scheduler and you can create a task. See, I have one right here where I'm going to make the computer reboot. And so let's just get rid of this one and I'll show you how I made it. On the test rig out there, I have it rebooting every four hours. And last night was the first night that I did it. And when I woke up in the morning, the rig was still mining. So. This is a very dirty way of doing it, but I don't understand yet how to get it to um, know that the application has frozen to, to reset the application. So we'll just do this in the time being. So create a task. And I had to create a few of them because I wanted it to restart every four hours, but you just put in a name. And then we need a trigger. And I went daily and for example, I had the thing rebooting at midnight. Oops. Not that that makes a difference really, but okay. So daily right here is when it's going to reboot. It'll recur every day. And then um, we need an action for it. Go ahead and hit new and then go to browse and punch in shut down into your search. And let me just show that in case somebody's like, what are you talking about? All right, usually that's empty. So go here and put shut down. And you want the one that's just in the Windows 30, system 32, this one right here. Grab that and then click in here and put negative R and a negative F and that will make it restart instead of shut down. And then hit OK and then say, yeah, that's cool. Anything else? No, no. All right, now we're good. And so now this computer will restart every day at midnight. And because it's going to restart nice hash miner will automatically boot up and it'll start mining. So the way that works on the rig in the garage is if this thing freezes up 
if nice hash miner crashes at 11:30 at night well at midnight the whole computer is going to reboot and i'll show you how now the nice hash miner will just automatically start when the computer restarts so when i hit restart it's going to close down my screen capture but that's fine And like I said, this isn't a perfect fix. This is, I, I can't babysit this thing for the next couple of weeks. I gotta be um, out of the house. I'm gonna be super busy. And I don't want it to crash and then hang and then not mine for six hours. And so this way, um, every two hours, the computer will reset. Windows will boot back up and then nice hash miner will go right into mining for me. And so. That's a quick and dirty way of getting this to work. And uh, eventually later on I'll look into how to make it only reboot when nice hash miner itself crashes. That'll be more efficient, but for now this will have to do.